Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at a detailed analysis of TISNET 2021. TISNET, as you are aware, is a test conducted by Tata Institute of Social Sciences for admission to the various programs that are offered by the institute. Let's get started. This year, due to COVID situation, a lot of tests underwent significant change in the test pattern. However, TISNET decided not to follow that path and kept the pattern exactly the same. The number of questions in each of the sections also remained the same. In English, you had 30 questions. In Math, you had 30. And there were 40 questions in the GK as it has been for the last several years. So there were a total of 100 questions carrying a total of 100 marks. No sectional time limit and no negative marking. Please understand that in GK, there is a sectional cutoff. So it is not applicable for English and Math. But for GK, yes, there is a sectional cutoff. So if you are a general EWS, KM or AF category student, then this cutoff is 14 marks out of 40. If you are a OBC or a PWD student, then this cutoff is 12 marks. And if you are a SC or ST student, then there is no sectional cutoff. So let's now understand what was the overall difficulty of the test. So based on the feedback that we have received from the students and from the mentors who took the test, the overall difficulty level was almost at par with that of last year's, possibly a notch higher. The general awareness section was easier compared to last year, so was the English section. However, the surprise this year was quant. Traditionally, the quant or the math section in TISNET has been one of the sections that is very easy to manage. But this year, they increased the difficulty slightly and that was the common feedback that we got. So what is the overall estimate? We believe for the HRM program, which is the flagship program that TISNET offers, the cutoff would be in the range of 72 to 75. In the past, this cutoff has been, so last year it was 73 and the year prior to that it was 75. So yes, there could be some perceptual differences that the students have as to what the overall difficulty was. But overall, if we consider, we will estimate the cutoff to be in the similar range. Let's now deep dive into each of the sections and see what kind of questions were asked and how one could have approached the test. Let's start with the English section. So in English, the overall difficulty was easy to mediate. If you look at the topics which were covered, as it is the case with any standard English section, you had questions from grammar, you had questions from RC, fill in the blanks and so on. So in RC, there were two passages which had total of 10 questions. Six of them were found to be easy and the other four were moderate. However, the RCs were pretty doable and a good candidate should have definitely attempted these two RCs. There were questions on fill in the blanks, which were some of them were just spelling errors. Some of them were filling the blank that was there and the overall distribution was easy to moderate again. There were questions from grammar, which were spotting the error in the underlined part of the sentence. The questions on vocabulary also made an appearance. So you had questions on synonyms, antonyms, and total four questions were asked from this. And there were questions from jumbled paragraphs, critical reasoning, and logical reasoning. So overall, we believe that a good candidate should have attempted 25 to 26 questions in 35 to 40 minutes. Now, because there's no negative marking, of course, it makes sense to mark everything that is out there. But what you see on screen is the number of genuine attempts that one could have made in this particular section. Let's now move to the quantitative ability section. As I mentioned some time back, the mathematical and logical reasoning section was slightly difficult compared to last year. So though the coverage remained more or less the same, the difficulty was a notch higher. The questions were asked on numbers. So there was a question on remainders. There were direct questions on quadratic equations related to sum of roots. Arithmetic, you had questions from SICI, time and work, time speed distance, and there were questions from clocks and calendars as well. So if you are prepared for those topics, these questions were bonus for you. In geometry, there were questions from mensuration and quadrilaterals. There was a question which was very direct question on the property of rhombus and even questions on lateral area, which could have been calculated if you knew the formula for it. The surprise, of course, was questions on statistics. So there were questions which were asked and a lot of people typically don't prepare for statistics. And that is why that particular question could have been skipped. But the PNC and probability questions weren't that difficult and one should have solved these questions. The remaining questions were from data interpretation and logical reasoning. So there were four questions in data interpretation, three in logical reasoning, which was on completing the series, 
and there was one question which was on directions now overall we believe that a good candidate should have attempted around 22 questions genuinely in this particular section and of course mark the rest because there is no negative marking and coming to the last section which is the general awareness section now either you like gk section or you don't like gk section there is no definite syllabus so it's very difficult to prepare as well but one could have prepared for the current affairs part of it and managed to do well in this particular section there were 20 static and 20 current affairs questions and 9 to 10 questions can be considered easy around 17 to 18 as medium and the remaining 12 questions were definitely difficult but the overall difficulty of this particular section was easier compared to last year so the question such as for example there was a question related to the book that barack obama has written was very recently in news there were questions such as where the chess has originated the game chess uh, and the answer to which is india was also a fairly easy question so there were a lot of questions which can be considered easy however there are a lot of perceptual differences possible in gk if i know a particular fact i will find it easy whereas you might find the same thing to be difficult and that is why we believe that overall a good candidate should have aim to score around 23 24 marks in about 20 minutes because either you know it or you don't so there is no point spending a lot of time on this section one should have definitely marked all of them but with a genuine attempt of we would say around 25 to 26 hoping to get about 23 24 correct in this particular section so overall this net remained true to its score it didn't offer any surprises and didn't deviate too much from the difficulty of the paper there were no reports of any major technical issues from students and the overall experience was fairly smooth for all the candidates we hope that your paper went well and you can start gearing for the next stage of the selection process wish you guys all the best and stay tuned for more updates